What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're gonna be doing a full face testing a bunch of viral TikTok beauty products. I don't know about you, but nowadays I spend way too much time on TikTok. Like I need to put like a one of those stopper things on my phone. Like Kelly, you've been scrolling for too long, but I just get sucked in and there are so many products on TikTok that go viral. And I have definitely been like swindled by a few of them, okay? Cause not everything that goes viral is actually good. It might just be like weird and eye catching. So then it goes viral and it's like actually a waste of your money. So that's why I like to do these videos. So we can actually see like, is this stuff worth your money? Is it worth the virality? Is it actually good? Because I have also bought stuff from TikTok that's absolutely amazing that I love. So I'm going to be the guinea pig and test it all out for you guys today. I'm super excited. Make sure if you guys don't already follow me on TikTok. My handle is at Kelly Strack official. That's also my Instagram handle as well. I post on both of those socials daily. Um, but of course you guys know I'm always posting on YouTube as well, but new content goes up on Instagram and TikTok every single day. So without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. If you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button. So you notified of all my future uploads and let's go ahead and test out these products. Okay. So the first product we're going to use is a hair product and spoiler alert. I have already tested this one. So this one isn't a first impressions for me. I've used it already and it is so good. So this one is definitely worth it. It is the beach waiver curling iron. So you guys might've seen this on TikTok, but basically there's like a tiny little clamp on the bottom here. So you guys are probably like, how the heck does all your hair fit in here? So basically you put the very end of your hair in this and then you press this and it curls the hair like on its own, like it moves. I'm going to show you guys obviously how to do it, but it is so cool. So I want to thank Beach Waver so much for sending this out to me and partnering with me on this section of today's video, but this is very, very cool. I'm going to just twist my hair with some heat protectant. It does have a little digital temperature thing. I just set it to 350 and I'm just going to grab a little piece of my hair and show you guys how it works. I normally will clamp it like halfway and then kind of drag it down towards the bottom of my hair but I like I leave out the the little tail and then you just press the button and it'll curl your hair for you like it's so much simpler than like doing it yourself and also like with the wand like you don't have to worry about like burning your fingers because I have absolutely done that one too many times it's super easy it is a ceramic wand and then I'll normally hold it I don't know 10 seconds or so and then I will drop the curl like so. You just wanna let it cool, but it gives you this really pretty bouncy curl. So if you struggle with curling your hair, this is definitely a tool that I think that you would really, really like and get a lot of use out of because it kind of takes like all of the guesswork and anything out of it. And I'm using the 1.25 inch barrel. They do have a one inch barrel as well. I like to use a little bit of a bigger one just to give me like bigger bouncier curls. They are a little bit looser that way too. Um, but they do have a variety of options. So definitely a really, really cool product. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing my whole head. I think you guys see how it works and I will show you guys the completed look once I have everything all curled. All right, you guys, I'm back. Here is the final hair, so pretty. So definitely really, really love this and it works and will absolutely make curling your hair a breeze. This literally took me like 15 minutes aside from what you guys saw me do on camera and it just gives the prettiest curls. And Beach Waver was amazing and hooked us up with a discount code. So you guys can use code Kelly20 for 20% off of their website. So I will link their website and the discount code and all that stuff down below in the description if you guys wanna check them out. But now that our hair is all done, we are gonna move into testing some of this viral makeup and I am very excited. So let me clip this hair, hoping that we don't mess it up with the clips, but we gotta get it out of the face a little bit. But normally these clips do me good. See how pretty the waves are? I'm just like obsessed. Woo! All righty. So we're gonna dive right in with foundation and I have two of them. Well, I mean, they're the same foundation. I just have two different shades. So I wasn't sure which one but basically this is the new from Lancome. This is the Tint Idole. I'm probably totally mispronouncing that, but that's like one of their famous foundations, which is actually a very nice foundation. Um, but they came out with the Ultra Wear Care and Glow version of that. So this is brand new and I saw this on Michaela's TikTok. If you guys are on beauty TikTok. I'm sure you guys know Michaela. I feel like everything that she reviews ends up going viral, but she is just like the cutest and I love her videos. But she reviewed this and said that it was even a foundation that she would consider wearing for her wedding, was like raving about it. So I was like, okay, I need to try it because it looked absolutely beautiful on her skin. I have not tried it yet. I specifically kept it for this video. So let's go ahead and test it out. Little pump here. And I'm gonna just pump some onto a beauty sponge and we're gonna apply it onto our skin and see. I've really been into more glowy foundations recently. So I'm really hoping that this looks nice. And oh my goodness, it does. That gave a really nice coverage and blended really seamlessly. This is actually a really good match, thankfully. Okay, let's go in on the other side. It has 
a little bit of a scent to it. I will say that I prefer foundations that are completely unscented. This one is not like super overpowering. It just has like a slight, I would say probably like rose. Is there SPF in this? Yes. Okay. So there's SPF 27. I feel like that's a random number, but I feel like I can smell a little bit of the SPF -y smell. And then it has a little bit of a rose scent to it, but it's not like super overpowering. So I feel like it's fine, but just something to note if you are sensitive to scent. But aside from that, I feel like this looks beautiful on the skin. So I can totally see why Michaela was raving about it because it just looks very natural. Like I feel like it kind of reminds me of Too Faced Born This Way, which you guys know is like my OG favorite. Like it looks like your skin, but better. I wouldn't say that this is super glowy. It definitely has more of a natural finish. So not super matte, not super glowy either. Um, and just like morphs and blends into the skin so well. And it doesn't feel drying or anything. Um, I think it's really, really pretty. And I feel like it gave me a good medium to almost full coverage. Like it covered up my redness. I have like acne scarring and stuff on my chin, which it pretty much covered all that up. I feel like I don't even need to go in with like a separate concealer aside from my under eyes, like on the rest of my face. So I think it's really, really beautiful. This is definitely a foundation that I'm gonna continue to use. I will wear this all day long, so I can put a wear test down below in the description box. You guys can check there to see how this wears throughout the rest of the day. But upon first application, I think it's beautiful. Okay, up next, we have another new product that I'm so excited about. I went and purchased this this morning. This is the Rem Beauty New Concealer. So I, I got mine at Ulta and it was $24, I believe, which I feel like is kind of like middle of the range as far as high-end concealers go. But I was really excited because I got the sponge like as a free gift, I guess maybe they were running a promotion. So yeah, I got this, the little makeup sponge as a free gift, which I thought was nice. So I will use this to apply it. It's definitely super tiny, but it's cute. This is Ariana Grande's makeup line, Rem Beauty. So this is, I believe the first like, I feel like there was something else in here and I just dropped it. Mm, I don't know where that went, but <laughs> whatever. This is the concealer. Um, I think this is their first like actual complexion complexion products. I don't think they've done like foundations or concealers or anything like that yet. So this is what it looks like, kind of similar packaging to the rest of their products. I will say, I don't think any of the products that I've tried from them have really super wowed me yet, but they came out with like an under eye blurring sort of balm thing. It wasn't a concealer. It was almost, it was kind of like a primer. And I actually thought that that worked and was very nice. So I have high hopes for the concealer. This is what it looks like. It is a potted concealer, which I don't always love for my under eyes, but we're gonna see. Cause sometimes I find them to be a little bit more thicker than like a liquid kind of dofa concealer is, but I'm gonna go ahead and dampen this. Okay, so I dampened the sponge. It got a bit bigger. I'm gonna use the pointy side, I guess. I would assume for the under eyes. It's kind of like wide, but whatever. Let's go in. I got this in shade medium 1W. So this is the first shade in like the medium range. And there are 60 different shades in this concealer, which is insane. And uh, I mean, it's amazing. Thing, but it was definitely hard to pick. I was like in Ulta, like, oh my goodness, like which which one? There's a lot, there's so many different options, but that is awesome. So um, definitely really cool that they were able to come out with one with so many different shades. And so I'm gonna go in and just kind of push this in, got a little on there. All right, I'm just gonna press this in. This is supposed to be medium to full coverage and it's supposed to be like smooth and lightweight to the under eyes. All right, I feel like it is giving me a good coverage. I gotta be honest, I don't love this sponge. I feel like the shape of it makes it kind of hard to get it in there because it pointed and then it gets really wide where like a regular beauty blender kind of like gently goes out wider. So I think I'm actually gonna switch over to a regular beauty blender on the other side because I don't love this sponge. The concealer itself looks pretty good. I like it, feels lightweight on the under eyes. I wouldn't call this full coverage. I would say it's definitely more medium. Like you can still see some of my darkness and like veins underneath my eyes. So just something to note. Uh, I'm gonna go in with a regular beauty sponge on the other side. I think I'll probably like that as far as application goes better. And just kind of dot this on. Yeah, I prefer the regular beauty sponge. This, I just feel like the shape of it makes it a little difficult to use. I'm just more used to this shape. So whatever works for your personal preference. I do think this is nice. I'll be honest with you and say, I don't think anything about the formula wise is like revolutionary. Like to me, it's just like a medium concealer that doesn't feel drying or anything to my skin, but definitely don't think it's a bad concealer. Don't think there's anything revolutionary about it, but love the huge shade range. I think that's amazing. And that is revolutionary. I don't know that we've ever seen 60 shades of concealer um, from like a mask kind of brand like this before. So definitely, Actually, we probably have, but still very cool. So I do like that and I do feel like it looks nice on my under eyes. So before we go in and set that, I do have a few more other cream products I wanna use on the face and then we will set it down and obviously keep a look on if it creases underneath the eyes throughout the rest of this tutorial and the rest of the day, I will update the description box. But next, I wanna jump in with this Say Sun Melt cream bronzer. Oh my gosh, I've been saving this. So I love Say. They are one of my new favorite brands. They're a clean brand at Sephora. Their stuff is so good. And I've heard amazing things on TikTok about this Sun Melt bronzer. I think when they originally came out with this, it was like earlier in um, 
like the very early spring and it sold out, but I was finally able to get my hands on it. I haven't tried it yet. So I have shade light bronze here. I'm gonna go in with this. I have been such a cream bronze girl. Definitely converted like over to this because I used to be such a powder bronzer, but I'm gonna go in and sculpt out the cheeks with this and see if it's as good as everybody says. Blending like a dream. Like I feel like it's just like literally blending into <laughs> the foundation so, so well, which again, hence the name Melt. Um, I think that's kind of like the purpose, like that it blends really, really nicely and just kind of melts into the skin, which I definitely think it is doing. So definitely very nice, easy to use, kind of gives a nice natural contour and bronze to the skin. Their dew blushes are my absolute favorite, but this is really, really pretty as well. So so definitely like this. All right, up next for blushes, I have two different options. I couldn't pick between them, so I was like, you know what, we're just gonna test them both. We're gonna do a little swisheroo on the cheeks. But up first, we're gonna do the Pixi On The Glow Tinted Moisture Blush Stick. So I have tried these a while ago. I think I tried a different color, and I thought it was nice, but now they're like going viral, viral. So I'm like, all right, I really need to like put this to the test and see. So I have this in the shade Ruby, kind of like a bright kind of red shade. But then I also wanted to test these Pro Fusion little blushes. I've also been seeing these all over over the place and people are saying that they're dupes for the rare beauty cream blushes which are super pigmented and beautiful so i'm like let's see and i mean i love profusion they're super affordable and i love their eyeshadow palettes so let's try the pixie one first so you basically just like from what i've seen people go like this on their cheek which makes me a little nervous but we're gonna we're gonna try it because normally i would like use a brush and then apply but this is this is how the kids do it on tiktok they just oh okay wait that's actually beautiful wow Okay, maybe, I mean, maybe they're onto something that's actually really pretty because it looks kind of like, you know, in here it looks, oh, has some foundation on it, but looks kind of scary because it's such a bright color, but that actually looks so pretty on. Obviously you can see it did take a little bit of my foundation off, like when I just swiped it like that, but I feel like it doesn't look bad on the skin. Like you don't see this weird like wipe. That is actually stunning, so. I have to say that. I feel like I put it up a little too high, so I'm gonna go in and kinda just dot in with the beauty sponge a little bit. I wish it was a hair smaller, like not as wide, because I feel like if I put it any lower, it'd be too low, but then it kinda went up a little high by my under eye, but nonetheless, a beautiful product for sure. Like that looks really, really pretty on the cheeks. So let's go in on the other side. I don't know which blush to use. I have a couple different shades in this. This red will probably match the best, but I'm nervous if it's like super pigmented that it's gonna be crazy, but we're gonna try it. Um, this is in the shade Paloma. And now I will say too, these Profusion blushes are $6. Um, the Pixie is more expensive. Pixie in general is just like a higher priced drugstore brand. They always have been at a little bit of a higher price point. So these retail for $18. So to me, that's pretty much almost high end pricing. So definitely a more expensive product. I do think that it looks beautiful and it's cute too on the go, like it was very easy to blend out. So I will absolutely give it that. So even though they're both technically drugstore, definitely a big price difference in between them. Um, and I have not heard that these are supposed to be dupes for one another. I'm just trying to match color wise so that we don't look super crazy on our face. So I'm gonna go in with this little profusion. I'm gonna just do one dot because I've heard these are really pigmented. And I'm just gonna go in and blend. Okay, <laughs> yes, they are really pigmented. So thank goodness I only did one dot. Oh my goodness, okay. Yes, I'm seeing the Rare Beauty dupe because the Rare Beauty ones are like this too. Like if you use more than one dot of that Rare Beauty cream blush, it's gonna just, it's so pigmented that it's like crazy. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> now I'm starting to sweat, clearly. <laughs> a difference in the type of product. This one much lighter, not as pigmented. This one is like boom, pigmented. Um, gonna do the same thing where I blend down. That's a little hack if you ever feel like you want to like blur something out a little bit more, just go in with your beauty sponge that has like leftover product. You don't have to put any more product on it. Just whatever you used on your complexion and just like, tap it on and it'll help kind of sheer and blend everything together. This is actually stunning though. I mean, you really need, this will last you your whole life, I'm telling you, because you need the tiniest little dab of it because I feel like I even put too much and all I did was one dab. So literally just little dab and it'll blend out probably on your whole face. So I'll probably do like an upcoming, in an upcoming like viral dupes video, let's test it against the Rare Beauty but I definitely feel like these are very similar as far as like level of pigmentation and stuff to the Rare Beauty blushes. So that's really, really cool. I like that a lot. Um, I'm gonna go in on this side and just add a little bit of this blush so that we don't have two completely different cheeks going on. Like I'm telling you the smallest amount <laughs> will literally make a big difference. And they both blend it out beautifully. Like if you guys see, that's super easy to blend. So I honestly, I feel like I prefer the Profusion one. You might have to blend it a little more because it is more pigmented, but much cheaper and very, very pretty. And I feel like it would last you 
your entire life. I'm not even kidding. Like because of how little of it that you have to use. And that is that on the blushes. All right, now to set everything down, we are going to go in with a pink powder. Now this is a trend that surprised me. This started on TikTok where people started to use pink under eye setting powder um, to set their under eyes. I had always used like a yellow toned setting powder on my under eyes to really like brighten them. But using pink setting powder on the under eyes became a big thing so much so that Laura Mercier came out with their own pink version of their translucent setting powder. So this is the translucent loose setting powder in the shade Rose. So I'll put some in the cap. I have used this before I used it on TikTok to test it. Let me get it so you guys can see. I don't want it to spill out, but if you guys can see it in there, it's a pink toned powder. And when I tested it on TikTok, I was like, wow, this actually really looks beautiful. So I'm gonna go in and set my under eyes with it. In my opinion, it adds a little bit more brightness than like the regular translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier does. It really just helps to set the under eyes and brighten. I would not use this all over the face because it obviously does have that color in it. So you wouldn't want necessarily like rose toned all over your face. So I actually really like this Laura Mercier one. Like I like this a lot better than the translucent loose setting powder that they have, just like the OG original. I think it's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go fill in my brows real quick and then we are going to do lashes. Okay. Okay, did my brows, I'm gonna jump in with some mascara. I'm using the Milani Anti-Gravity. I would like to say, I feel like I was a little bit a part of this going viral. A little pat on my own back, because I did do a video about this and it did quite well on TikTok, but this is like by far has been my go-to mascara. It does wonders for my lashes. Like I absolutely love it. And it's drugstore, so it's affordable. Like to me, this is better than like high-end and other mascaras that I tried. I feel like it went viral on TikTok like a long time ago and I didn't try it till very recently and was like, oh my goodness, this is so good. So just wanted to show you guys that because the lashes that we're gonna use are very, very viral right now. So I'm very excited, but I obviously wanted to put on some mascara first. So honorable mention to the Milani Anti-Gravity because this stuff is amazing. And I feel like it just makes my natural lashes look so good. Like I'm just like, Yes, ma'am. Okay, now for the super viral product. These are the Kiss Ruffle Lashes. So these I feel like went viral like multiple times. So originally, I believe, I could be wrong, let me know in the comments, but these went viral because Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, I think, said that this is the lash that they used on her. So then everyone was buying them and then Michaela also did a video using them where they looked really beautiful, like lash extensions. So I was just like, all right, enough is enough. I need to buy them. Because normally, honestly, I, I've i tried Kiss Lash in the past. They weren't like a go-to lash brand for me, but everyone is talking about the Kiss Ruffle. So I'm like, okay, let me get the Kiss Ruffle. So I went on Amazon, bought them. They were like $8, I think, for a pack of four, which I thought was pretty good. So anyways, let's go ahead and try them. I'm gonna line my upper lash line with the Kiss Lash Glue Liner. This is my absolute favorite. It's basically like a liner lash glue in one and it's so good. So I'm just lining the upper lash line with this and then we must jump in with one of these lashes and see if these are worth the dang hype. Cause they honestly, looking at them, they don't look like a type of lash that I would love. I don't know, like I have specific lash types when I visually look at them, they're like the ones I go for. These aren't like that, so we'll see. But on everybody else, they look really pretty. Just kind of pressing them down into that liner and let's see if they look like, you know, lash extensions. Oh, okay. Wait, these actually are very pretty. I like these. Okay, I didn't expect to like these as much, honestly. I'm so used to seeing myself with half lashes. I've been wearing half lashes like nonstop, so I feel like it looks a little different with like a full lash, but that totally like, I feel like transformed this eye. I don't know that they necessarily look like lash extensions on me, but they look very pretty. Like they're dramatic without being like spiders on my eyes. Cause some of the lashes I used to wear, I look back and I'm like, oh my goodness, like how did I wear those in public? They were so thick and long and just like, they were so heavy I felt like on my eyes, but I still love a dramatic lash. That's so like finding that in between where I do feel like these look really pretty. All right, let me put the other eye on so we can see like a full, a full eye look, hang on. And they were easy to use too because they're like, the band is flexible, which I like. I hate when lashes have like that thick lash band that's like hard to work with. I feel like maybe if I used a clear glue and not the lash glue liner so I didn't see like the the black liner line they might look a little bit more lash extension -y. I feel like the the eyeliner might be what's throwing that off if I just kind of pressed them up against the lash line without that they might look more like lash extensions but nonetheless they do look pretty also pro tip if you don't use tweezers to apply your lashes 
it will make your life so much easier as I'm gonna go in and use my finger. But in general, I do find they make applying lashes easier. All right, you know what? These are definitely very pretty and the price was good too, like I said. Amazon is the way to go because I feel like in store these might be more expensive, but I'll link them down below, but like eight bucks for four of them. I do see the hype on these. I do think that they're very pretty. Last but certainly not least for the lippy. Oh my goodness. I tried to get my hands on this for months and couldn't get it because this went viral on TikTok. I feel like at this point a long time ago, but it kept being sold out, sold out, sold out like the Dior lip oil. Like you can never find these, but these are the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums. I finally found it at a Sephora Kohl's location. A lot of times with the sold out stuff, if you go to the ones in the Kohl's, they have more of the stuff because I feel like people don't know that they're there yet than like the actual Sephora store. Because whenever I looked at the actual Sephora store, these were nowhere to be found. They were always gone. But finally got my hands on it, got the shade Rose Glow. So this is what it looked like. It really didn't have much of a choice. It was the only shade that they had, but I think there's like three or four shades. But this is supposed to be like a lip serum and it's supposed to like look pretty on the lips and it's supposed to plump your lips. So let's just go. Oh my goodness, okay, <laughs> hang on. So this is really soft. I don't know why I didn't expect that. So I'm gonna go in very gently because I just went in with way too much. Oh my goodness, okay. Actually reminds me so much of the Tarte, um, the Maracuja Juicy Lips that are also going viral right now. Same sort of texture, those are also very soft. They're not like lipsticks or traditional lip balms where they're hard, they're super soft. So you have to really be gentle when applying. This actually is completely different than what I expected it to be, but it's very, very pretty. It has quite a bit of pigment to it, like definitely added color to my lips. Looks like a lip gloss. I haven't got any like plumpness feeling yet, but normally that can take a couple minutes. So let's, let's give it a second, but this is really pretty. It doesn't hurt, just feels like a little tingly. This is honestly beautiful. Like this color, everything about this is really, really pretty. And it pleasantly surprised me. Just don't go in as hard as I did. It's a very soft product. Like honestly feels like a stick form of like a lip gloss. Honestly, I feel like our makeup looks bomb. Like this is more like natural. I don't know that I necessarily say every day, but like toned down kind of look like this is how I typically do my makeup day to day if I'm doing my makeup. Just like a lash, nice complexion and some sort of lip serum sort of thing. And I feel like our makeup looks really good and we use like all these random viral products that I feel like they were all worth the hype, like for sure. Really pretty and TikTok was not searing us wrong this time. So definitely let me know your thoughts down below, but I love this look, like very pretty, wearable. And I feel like everything looks really, really nice. So I will link everything down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.